Are you feeling overwhelmed with the clutter in your life? Let's face it, we all have those moments where we feel buried under a mountain of stuff, both physically and mentally. This clutter can be more than just an eyesore. It can lead to stress, chew up our precious time, and even put a damper on our productivity. It's like living in a constant state of chaos. If you're nodding along, then stay tuned as we dive into the 10 things you can eliminate from your life today to declutter and breathe a little easier. First on our list is unnecessary items. Now you might be wondering what exactly qualifies as unnecessary. Well, these are items that we often keep around just in case, but rarely if ever use. They're like the party crashers of your personal space, taking up room and contributing to clutter without really adding any value. Think about those kitchen gadgets gathering dust in the back of your drawer, or the stack of old magazines that you've been meaning to read for the past two years, and let's not forget the expired products lurking in the depths of your medicine cabinet. Clearing these items out can be a liberating experience. Not only does it free up physical space, it can also lift your mood and increase your productivity. After all, a clutter-free environment often leads to a clutter-free mind. Remember, if it's not adding value to your life, it's probably just adding clutter. Next up, we're tackling digital clutter. Picture this, an email inbox overflowing with unread messages, a smartphone screen filled with unused apps, and a constant barrage of unnecessary notifications. Sounds familiar? Well, these are all forms of digital clutter that are clogging up our lives. Just as physical clutter can create chaos in our surroundings, digital clutter can overwhelm our minds, affecting our focus and productivity. It's time we address this often overlooked aspect of our lives, so, how do we do that? By embracing the concept of a digital detox. This means taking control of our inboxes by unsubscribing from unnecessary newsletters, deleting those apps we rarely use, and turning off non-essential notifications. Remember, the goal here is not to eliminate technology, but to create a more intentional and meaningful digital environment. Because, my friends, cleaning up your digital life can lead to a clearer mind and increased productivity. Moving on, let's talk about negative relationships. Just as physical clutter can crowd your space, emotional clutter can sap your spirit. Negative relationships can be a significant source of this emotional clutter. Let's face it, we all have those relationships that bring us down more than they lift us up. They can be as subtle as that friend who always seems to rain on your parade, or as glaring as a partner who doesn't respect your boundaries. These relationships drain your energy, cloud your judgment, and can even affect your self-esteem. It's crucial to take a step back and reevaluate these relationships. Ask yourself, is this relationship serving me well? Is it contributing to my life in a positive way? If the answer is no, it might be time to distance yourself. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your mental well being and cut ties with negativity. It's about decluttering your life, after all. Number four on our list is unhealthy habits. We all have them, those pesky routines we fall into without a second thought. Maybe it's that extra hour of screen time when we could be reading a book or the bag of chips we reach for instead of a piece of fruit. Or perhaps it's the couch that beckons us when we should be hitting the pavement for a brisk walk. These habits, while seemingly harmless, can clutter our lives and our minds, preventing us from reaching our full potential. Imagine replacing that extra hour of scrolling through social media with a captivating novel. Picture trading the bag of chips for a bowl of crunchy, fresh fruit. Visualize swapping the couch for a scenic walk. The benefits of these healthier alternatives are immense. Not only do they declutter our lives, but they also improve our overall health. By eliminating these unhealthy habits, you're not just decluttering your life, but also improving your overall health. Next on our list, doubt and fear. Picture these as invisible clutter, piling up in the corners of your mind, taking up valuable space. These pesky thoughts can be even more debilitating than physical clutter holding you back from pursuing your dreams and keeping you stuck in your comfort zone. Just like you would declutter a room, it's time to do some mental housekeeping. Start by acknowledging these doubts and fears. Recognize them for what they are, limiting beliefs that are not serving you. Once you've done that, it's time to let them go. It's normal to feel scared or doubtful when trying something new, but don't let these feelings stop you. Instead, use them as a driving force to prove yourself wrong. Imagine the freedom and space you'll create in your mind once you dispose of these unnecessary burdens. Remember, you're capable of so much more than you think. So, those were the 10 things to eliminate from your life today. Let's quickly jog our memory. Unnecessary items that are just collecting dust, digital clutter that's eating up your precious time, negative relationships that are draining your energy. 
unhealthy habits that are hindering your well-being, and last but not least, doubt and fear that are preventing you from reaching your true potential. These might seem like small things, but when you purge them from your life, you'll notice a significant difference. You'll feel lighter, more focused, and more at peace. You'll have more time to do the things you love, more energy to invest in positive relationships, and more courage to chase your dreams. Now, I know it might seem overwhelming, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't have to eliminate everything all at once. Start small. Maybe today you could clean out that one drawer you've been avoiding or unfollow a few accounts that no longer serve you. The key is consistency. Keep at it, day after day, and soon, you'll see your life transform. And remember, decluttering is not just about getting rid of things. It's about making room for what truly matters. It's about creating a life that brings you joy, peace, and fulfillment. Now it's your turn. Start decluttering and experience the freedom and peace that comes with it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on living a clutter-free life.